So in this video, I want to talk to you about a particular native shrub that is great for nesting birds because it's very spiky. I can assure you, if you can just see, I'm actually squatting in it, trying to get you this video today. So <laughs> spare me a thought, would you? But it's a really, really brilliant plant therefore for our nesting birds because of course it provides great cover. It's gonna be a really great addition to any garden and it will certainly deter any cats from getting in the middle to any bird nest. So it's good for our lower down nesting species of birds, things such as uh, black caps, willow warblers, chiff chaffs, stone chats if you're fortunate enough to have them locally, and of course white throats and many other birds because it provides a lot of security uh, for them when they are breeding. So great for nesting cover for birds. Uh, but also, as you can see, this time of year now, it's looking absolutely beautiful. It's covered in yellow flowers, which are very similar to the vetch flowers that you get on your sweet peas, or for example, your bird's foot trefoil, one of my favorite British wildflowers. So it is a great plant this time of year, as you can see, middle of November, but look at that, just a profusion of yellow flowers. So for any insects that are still on the wing now, it's gonna provide a very welcome pit stop for them in terms of a nectar source. So great nesting potential, great potential for your insects as well. And also it's great because it's a key component in a certain stage of the green hair streak butterfly's life cycle. And that of course is providing food for the caterpillar, which some species some, or some colonies throughout the UK survive solely on gorse as a plant. So it's a great one for our British butterflies as well. So hopefully that's given you enough of an idea as to why you should plant one in your garden. In terms of where you should plant one, you could plant one almost anywhere. They will prefer a fair bit of sun if you can, and they will want to be in, well, either sandy soils or they'll grow on clay soils, but they do prefer sand if possible or, or sort of well-drained soils. Uh, so do 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 that. But of course, I planted them on a job in North Yorkshire where it was just solid clay and it's absolutely thriving there without a shadow of a doubt. So. A great plant for your garden. Gorse, if you haven't got some, do consider it. As I say, just allow yourself a bit of room if you are thinking about it, because it will make a nice block if you want it to. And as you can see on these sort of, uh, this is actually a bit of a, um, a green or common that I'm on at the moment in Newbury, just outside, or just outside of Newbury in Oxfordshire. And as you can see, it's provided a really brilliant habitat for uh, so many nesting birds. So. It really is a fantastic shrub, but uh, a key component nevertheless to any garden. So hope that's given you some inspiration. Please feel free to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed it. And I'll be sure to bring you more videos on all the sort of conservation work that I do throughout the UK and more tips and advice on how you can create uh, your own habitats for wildlife and encourage more wildlife indeed into your own garden. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.